Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another reading and first of all I wish you all a very very happy full moon and I have to tell you I was not planning on this video at all like not by far I was in fact planning another video with a very different topic in mind but I don't know how this has come around so please make sure that you pay uh, careful attention to this if you've landed on this video uh, because this sort of has uh, instructions and a little bit of guidance on you know what you're supposed to be doing over the next three to four months given the fact that we have a lot of changes coming around for us especially with the retrogrades and uh, the eclipses so this is like the uh, angel guidance as to how you should sort of cope with it all right uh, so of course as usual you have three piles in front of you and once you take your time and you're done selecting the pile i shall start off with the very first one which is pile one so for those of you who chose the very first pile, these are your messages. So to begin with, the very first impression that I get for you guys is you really need to pay close attention to your sacral chakra. Now your sacral chakra really talks about emotions, imbalanced emotions, uh, repressed feelings, but it also talks about creativity. So these are things you should really be considering over the next three to four months and also there is a need to pay special attention to whatever it is that you eat the nutrition that you take the kind of food that you eat whatever you put into your body is going to be affecting you energetically over the next three to four months and the reason why we are really looking into this is because you know the planetary positions are changing uh, so a lot of activities that are taking place in the outer space so you really need to uh, prepare your body Body for it so for your pile especially nutrition is going to play an extremely important role so probably some of you can consider you know a plant-based diet for some of you it will be uh, cutting out dairy uh, what I would like to recommend is just maintain a food diary like every whatever it is that you're ingesting uh, sort of write down how it makes you feel energetically and then you'll sort of you know get a clear idea about what works for you and what doesn't right so please pay very uh, good attention to whatever you're eating the next one is fertility now this is especially going to be very very important now there are two aspects to this all right the very first thing is of course a lot of you you know creatively like i said creative orientation so a lot of you can start new projects you can start working on newer ideas uh, you know new things that you can birth to life right uh, so this can be a creative project you can go for painting you can go for pottery uh, you can go for weaving whatever it is that you know brings you that sort of joy uh, also because you know i am filming this video and this sort of has been an inspiration that has come from the full moon so i really want you to pay close attention to your cycles especially for me females your menstrual cycles because you know the sacral chakra is very very closely linked to it and so is the moon moon has a huge effect on the female menstrual cycle so you guys you know you really need to again pay a lot of attention to it and also what you put in your body you know the food that you eat also affects your fertility so this is going to be especially important to a few of you all right uh, especially those who are sort of trying to start off your families and also something that i really really get is work towards your repressed emotions especially if you're struggling with fertility or you have certain you know female issues uh, work towards your emotions you know repressed emotions have a huge effect on a female's fertility uh, this can include you know going on journeys with your inner child doing a lot of inner child work uh, regression therapies hypnotherapies are also indicated here uh, but overall the sense i get is pay close attention to what you're eating because what you eat affects your fertility affects your cycles and of course we have the sacral chakra going as well again you know linking the moon aspect 
to the fertility aspect is also indicated so spend some time you know taking in the rays of the moon as well because that helps with female fertility because for some reason that is a major theme that i've been given here but again work towards your creative side because that will help you over the next three to four months to sort of deal with whatever is going to be coming right of course the next thing that i see for you guys is having a uh, crystal clear intentions whatever it is that you're holding in your mind you will see in your life because thought becomes things is something that i really believe in so especially over the next three to four months you need to be very very careful about planning you know if there is something that you want to attract into your life make sure you're very very clearly thinking about it don't think about what you don't want keep your focus on whatever it is that you want and that will sort of you know show up into your life very very quickly is something that i believe in and again have faith that it'll, it'll come to life yeah don't sort of think that it's gonna happen it's not gonna happen no your intention has to be crystal clear your faith has to be crystal clear again another aspect that's going to be important for you over the next three to four months given the planetary situation is asking for help from others right so this can be somebody that you know this can be a friend that you trust another message that i'm really getting for you with regards to the sacral chakra is if you want to process your emotions process your repressed emotions over the next three to four months uh, make sure to ask for help from somebody who is willing to help you out a trusted friend who will be there for you or somebody who will just help you with the process this can also be a therapist at that right work towards yourself work towards releasing yourself work towards releasing uh, your feelings that you've trapped in your body is something that i'm really getting because we are going into an entirely different phase of life post the next three to four months so it is very very important uh, you work on this aspects like you know your nutrition you have your fertility you have your intentions and you know your ability to ask for help right so these are things that are going to be important and again delight you know the message that i get here if you sort of put in uh, all of this effort you know over the next three to four months you're working on uh, your shadow aspects you're working into your body you're working towards your intention so the life that you create for yourself will be a life that will bring you delight will be a joy will be a life that will bring you great joy and because you know you work towards releasing your emotions releasing things that your body has been holding in you will sort of liberate yourself you'll free yourself you know you'll feel that lightness of being within yourself so this is a very good time especially uh, the coming three to four months to do some shadow work to do some healing work you know this can be body healing uh, this can be healing of emotions this can be healing in whatever form it is that you want all right so this is the message that i have for you and again i just picked out a few cards you do get successfully overcoming a problem so you know you do have the potential towards success is what i see and this is something we're talking on energetic level entirely yeah you have the capacity to work on yourself you have the capacity to work your emotions out is what i'm sensing and you will overcome it and once you overcome this blockage in your life the light is waiting a lighter a more beautiful life is waiting for you again you know you have the nest aspect so whenever i get the nest aspect i really get a feeling you know one thing is family and family is very closely related to fertility of course so you know uh, with regards to your feelings also your suppressed feelings uh, if for some of you you don't have the family you seek or you don't have the family uh, that you've always wanted you can always create that family in the future for yourself but you know the most important thing for that is you need to sort of you know let go of all the issues that you have because the next generation that you bring in the family that you bring in for yourself you need to be in an emotionally best phase you need to be in a phase where you are the best version of yourself only then can you create uh, other individuals that are your 
you know best human beings in their own right when you are secure as an individual emotionally only then can you sort of you know birth a family that is emotionally secure and you know the family that you dream of is very much possible for you it is very much there you just need to put in that hard work over the next three to four months so this is energetic work that you really need to put in over the next three to four months that that beautiful family that you've always dreamed of the emotionally security that you've always dreamed of the beautiful uh vision of family that you have is very much within yourself and i hope you have it in you to work towards a better you you know so that you can uh, actually manifest that into your life the next one is deep friendship with someone of the same sex so like i said you know if you want to do this energy work you don't have to do it alone sometimes you can always call in that friend who will support you to thick and thin you know so especially when it comes to energy work if you have somebody you can rely on nothing like it just think of uh, you know a particular individual you can invite into your life this doesn't have to be somebody you know this can be somebody you can invite in your life in the future possibly this can be an individual you will meet in your journey over the next three to four months because again you know this is a phase where a lot of like-minded individuals are finding their way towards each other and i hope for you that even you find a friend uh, that can work towards your issues and you can sort of grow together and again i shall leave you with this so yes you know that period of abundance will come into your life that period of prosperity will come into your life the nature of this prosperity can be different you know prosperity doesn't always have to be monetary sometimes it can be emotional prosperity and i think emotional prosperity uh, beats everything else in my view so yes you have that potential for a beautiful life waiting for you in the future but the next three to four months are very crucial and i know you can make the most out of it yeah so that's it for me for this particular reading and i shall see you in my next one till then bye hi guys so if you've chosen pile number two these are your messages for the next three to four months in terms of what you should be doing energetically uh, to sort of navigate the coming months so the very first thing that i get here is energy healing so for a few of you i would really like to recommend uh, going in for reiki going in for pranic healing or going in for meditation sessions because over the next three to four months these tools are going to be really really handy for you to sort of you know navigate those intense emotions coming your way uh, also for a couple of you i sense you know you might want to get into this professionally so if there is a possibility you can actually take a basic course in pranic healing or uh, reiki or meditation or just some spiritual aspect you know or uh, take a meditation class take a yoga class take an energy healing class or just a session is what i sense for you because you know that will really really help you out and for a lot of you this is a part of your life's process so if you're called to teaching it in the future as well uh, i'll just leave it at that right uh, so the next thing that i have for you is awakening so yes which is very very closely linked uh, with this aspect of energy healing so there is a possibility of you know awakening in terms of meditation awakening to the spiritual aspect of your life right uh, so i really want you to take some time out and just uh, sit on that meditation mat just sit for five minutes and just breathe you know because the next three to four months are going to be very very crucial for you and i I sense you know your pile is already very spiritual so that awakening that understanding of how to proceed next in your life is something that is really really going to be coming towards you in the next three to four months so a lot a lot of interesting things happening for you is what i can see uh, also courage for some of you you need to have courage to sort of pursue what you really want to and this is something i speak in terms of you know the spiritual realm or energy realm because you know for a lot of people 
यू नो आई वे फ्रेंड्स आर नॉट ओके विथ यू लिविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ लाइफ और पीपल कॉल यू स्ट्रेंज और यू जस्ट फील लाइक वॉट आर पीपल गोइंग टू थिंक अबाउट मी इफ आई गेट इन टू दीज थिंग्स बट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू इन्वाइट यू टू सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो हैव दैट करेज ट्रस्ट योर सेल्फ एंड जस्ट गो फॉर इट यू नो बिकॉज दिस energy healing work the spiritual work that you're being called to undertake that will really really change your life at the end of 3 to 4 months so sort of have that courage you know if you believe in a certain lifestyle a spiritual lifestyle like just you know open yourself let the world know you're into it you know because at the end of everything you should be you know your authentic self and you should have the satisfaction of knowing that you are living your life authentically so live your life authentically have the courage to do so is the message that i have for you all right and you already have a very bright future so if you do put in that work you know if you put in that energy work if you put in that spiritual work if you put in that meditation those hours for meditation those minutes for meditation they will really really help you towards a better life and you already have a bright future you know especially with the awakening card here and the bright future should you be putting in all of this work especially towards healing because you know things like pranic healing and reiki what they do is they help you release your energy blocks and once your energy blocks are out of place you know you automatically tend to move towards you know success you tend towards move towards progress you know you as soon as the blocks are cleared you sort of start feeling better and once you feel better you know you are in that position to make a uh, more concentrated effort towards whatever it is that you're doing because you know i have seen people who've gone through energy work healing work pranic healing reiki and have had fabulous results especially health related they've had amazing results so if you're called towards this or you know even if you attend sessions relating to this you are going to be benefiting hugely is what i sense for you guys and also again again for you you know your messages are very repeated a meditation will bring you answers so even if you don't go for that energy healing or pranic healing the least you can do is just sit with yourself and observe your breath because even that is meditation in itself of course you have a lot of meditation sessions available online where people guide you towards these meditations so you can even do that you know because i sense you people are very very powerful channels yourself and you have the capacity to bring about healing to others or that is something that is going to come through you to a lot of people in the future so for now what i sense is you accepting these gifts or not because should you accept it your future is very bright and now you just need to have that courage to sort of walk that path is what i hear but overall uh, meditation is really really going to help you and you know speak your truth this also gets for me a connection between uh, your throat chakra and your highest chakra these two chakras for you are especially important speak your truth do you hesitate to voice your opinions or you feel a certain blockage towards voicing what you really feel because sometimes when you find that block where you cannot voice your feelings those can actually lead to energy blocks in your body and which are not good for you in the longer term right uh, i shall just move ahead also uh, close attention to your health you know health issues are very very closely related to chakra blocks in your body and if you see this picture you have an image of the lady balancing her chakra so that is what you're called to do but please don't do it on your own don't try and heal your chakras on your own because healing a chakra needs somebody who is qualified to do that all right so seek an expert opinion on it but uh, pay attention to your health and even something as simple as sitting on a meditation uh, mat can help you with a lot of your physical issues even things like anxiety things like depression you know you'll deeply benefit from these kind of things and because you know the energy situations are going to be different in the coming 3 uh, to 4 months i just want to put this message out there you know that these things can help you out
that is my only intention behind doing this video right and again the next one is butterfly right uh, so butterfly again is changed for the better you know you have very reinforcing messages that should you put in the kind of uh, you know things that are coming for you the kind of changes that are suggested you will uh, have a change for the better your health will improve for the better and so will your life you will progress at a much rapid rate than what you are currently should you put in this work over the next three to four months so this energy work is very very crucial for you also what is important for you is i'll just move this slightly balance right keep your life in balance so that balance is very important now how does balance come about where you know you just sit within yourself and you are able to sort of sit for at least five minutes without any thoughts entering your mind so balancing your life is a lot to do with balancing your emotions and your balancing your emotions has a lot to do with balancing your chakra so you know meditation of course is an answer to this uh, if you see an unbalance in your imbalance in your life uh, you can resort to meditation you can resort to energy work or any other thing that calls to you right if there is nothing else you can do there are a lot of beautiful meditations available on youtube which can help you with you know getting yourself in that balance that will help you really really calm you down right so yes this is my message to you in terms of how you can manage your energies in the next three to four months and i wish you the very very best and i hope to see you in a future that's very bright for you all right i shall see you in my next one then bye bye hello so and if you've chosen group number three these are your messages and for a few of you i sense the heart chakra coming in very very strongly so emotions processing emotions are going to be very very important so what is going to help you in the process over the next three to four months is yoga now yoga of course is something i swear by you know sitting on that yoga mat i find myself to be the best version of myself and yoga really helps you get your life on track you know yoga is so much more than just exercise it's like a way of life it's the perfect way to balance your energies right uh, so yoga is something that you can do but if you're not called to yoga that is okay something as simple as stretching exercising and you know just moving your body is something that i really really want to suggest you do uh, even alternative things you know you have tai chi or any energetic exercises that you're called towards you know these things are really going to help you over the next three to four months to manage your energies all right so that is the very first thing that i get for you associated with that is the message of light so when it comes to light what i get is you know decluttering that is the very first thing that comes to your mind letting go of things that don't serve their purpose in your life you know if there is something you have lying around your house which you haven't used in years just let it go just give it to somebody else who'll use it properly also just only keeping things in your life that bring you joy is what i sense you know let go of clothes you haven't worn for a long time let go of things let go of possessions that are no longer useful to you know declutter also another message i want to give you is let go of relationships that don't spark joy let go of toxic people from your life let go of energy vampires that heart chakra is coming in very very strongly for you so don't let people shine your light right have very very healthy boundaries and what i sense is of course yoga will greatly help you in achieving that zen like state you know achieving that lightness of spirit is something that i can tell you because i personally swear by it yeah so just let go of things that don't really serve you is my message to you another thing that i really want to convey to you is creative writing so for a few of you you know i really want you to 
want to encourage you to just keep a diary just keep a notepad next to your bed and just write down how you feel at the end of the day every day you know you can just write morning pages at the beginning of the day uh, what this will do is this will help you sort of assess your moods help you understand what is happening in your life and you can sort of get a co relation between things sometimes you know and especially writing a diary when you're doing energy work or if you're doing personal work or spiritual work is especially important because it helps you track your growth all right what you can also do is you know make some plans for your future or just write down how do you envision your future what do you see as a part of your future and then probably you know step by step make a list of things that you can do to reach that place in your life because i totally believe you know a written goal is infinitely more powerful than just something that you're thinking of in your mind also for a couple of you you know if you're called to writing a book if you're called to write in an article if you're called to you know maintaining a new blog uh, that is something that i really encourage you to you know anything creative that comes to you make sure you do that especially i sense a lot of you out here are teachers so there is a possibility some of you are already into spiritual work you guys are or uh, tarot readers oracle readers just spiritual people you know who are very much in tune with spirit because i get a very strong impression with your you know uh, with your particular pile so you are being called also to lead people uh, towards making a change in their life because i think that is a part of your life life purpose you know and in order to become that best version of yourself you need to let go of things that are not working in your life so this even can be projects uh, this can be people or this can be things so you know you have to figure out um, whatever it is that you know speaks to you most look for a sign now i'm going to leave this card for interpretation the way you want to all right um this can be a sign this video can be a sign that you are supposed to be moving in a particular direction uh, because i've been told that some of my videos do help in giving signs so if you are one of those people who think i give you signs this is a sign towards whatever it is that you want to do all right whatever it is that you're doing just do it with a lot of love do it with a lot of passion and make sure your heart is into it is another thing that i want to tell you right uh, also again you know you're already a very magical person see uh, you already are a very powerful manifester like you know you can manifest things very easily into your life so i sense whatever future it is you have that you're dreaming of you can very easily uh, manifest in your life but certain things need to happen for you to some somehow you know come into your full glory and these things yoga energy work uh, letting go of things creative writing maintaining a journal these things sort of can help you in that process sort of uh, sort of speed that process up for you speed that manifestation process for you is what i really think and you know keep clear intentions as to what you want to do in your life is something that i get because if you are called to lead other people if you're called towards divination if you're called towards energy work um then just keep your intentions very clear and just speak to yourself truly and authentically and make sure your heart is into whatever that you do you know uh, for example i know there are many readers who just put out readings uh, because they have to so don't be like that you know just put your heart into your readings really feel every time you're putting a reading out there because you know your readings reach people and they affect them you really need to be mindful of that all right uh, i'll just move on to the next one love again see this is what i have been talking about anything that you're doing now needs to come from your heart needs to come from a place of love whatever you give now to other people whatever you give to yourself should be an act of love towards the other person or towards yourself is what i want to say to you again uh, a vacation you know uh, take a vacation either physically or mentally i think what this has to say if you can take a physical vacation nothing like it because but i am aware we have we have certain restrictions right now so a mental vacation can be something as simple as sitting on your yoga mat sitting on a meditation mat or just sitting on a chair somewhere where you can find peace and breathe 
just breathe and if you want to do something more than breathe like listen to a meditation go do it just do what speaks to you you know but let go of things that are not serving you is a very very strong message because you guys are so powerful you guys have so much potential and there is so much that you can do for other people uh, in the society in your life you need to just let go of things that are not serving your highest good right again the next one is uh, stepping into an unknown experience so you know post uh, this phase of the next 3 to 4 months you can find yourself in a new experience or possibly because you spent time on the yoga mat and meditating you might now understand yourself well this can be sort of a new experience for you Uh, an experience that will open your mind to a bigger dimension is what i am getting so if you can just try and do a couple of these things if not everything because it will really really change the way you look at yourself and the way you look at your world is what i'm getting and again you have a repeated message light hearted and carefree time you know you need to become this person which floats towards the sun you know which basically means is your energy is so light that you are one with the spirit you know you are one with the angels where you can feel your angels that clearly you know uh, so work towards yourself give yourself that time work towards yourself and whatever it is that you're bringing into existence make sure your heart is into it and you're doing it out of love is my message for you all right uh, so yes so over the next 3 to 4 months you have a lot to do and i i am rooting for you guys okay i believe in you and you can do all of this work because if you choose to do this you will end up a different person entirely by the time you come out of the 3 to 4 months yeah and yes that's it from me for this particular reading i shall see you in my next one bye